So, uh, Electric Adventures, Tony, uh, 1,500 subscribers. Tony, congratulations. You've been, you've been around uh, longer than, um, I don't know, a, a longer than I can remember. <laughs> you've been around a long time, so um, uh, 1,500 subscribers, it's, uh, that's quite a lot. Uh, I don't even have 500, so I'm, I'm, I'm way behind on you, but like you said, it's not about subscribers. Uh, we don't pay much attention to the subscriber count, maybe, but I know that everybody keeps a watchful eye on what the counter says. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, and uh, Tony, uh, I mean, this is not, not one of the questions that I wanted to ask, but... Uh, uh, I think you would probably agree that not all of those subscribers uh, watch all of your videos and comment all, on all of them. So I wonder what the uh, you know what the going rate is basically. Uh, how you know what percentage of viewers uh, of what percentage of your uh, subscribers actually views your videos and and uh, responds to them. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Three questions, because I'm going to enter in your competition, although I don't even have an MSX or a ColecoVision or whatever, I just want to see you send something across the world <laughs> to, to me, uh, uh, and I'll send you something back, I don't know what, the, I mean it's not, the, it's not the prizes, but I just wanted to get in on the action, so to speak. So, my first question. Um, I know that as Electric Adventures you had a store um, and you've talked about it a couple of times and, and, and I think I understand what kind of store it was and you sold games I, 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 I gather but would you describe like a typical day uh, in your store? What did you do? What was it like? How busy was it? What did you sell? What, where did you buy your stuff? Uh, and uh, you know, I, I'm just curious as, as you know, to, what was it like? Uh, and um, I could ask a million other questions, like why did you start and why did you stop and what happened and all that. But that would, you know, I, I don't want to spend my three questions like that. But just would you describe a day, a typical day in in the Electric Adventures store? And uh, maybe you could like show us a couple of pictures if you have any. I don't know. It would be fun to see. So that was my first question. My second question is maybe um, uh, a bit more technical, but not so much. Nothing can be too technical for you, I think. Um, but um, you being a programmer, uh, I know that you're, you know, programming is your profession, and uh, but also your hobby. And so you you make uh, video games, uh, but you also make business software. Now, uh, I I wonder how you feel about this. Uh, is a video game programmer? the same thing as being a business software programmer? Do the same techniques apply? Uh, do the same design patterns occur? Uh, is, is, does anything transfer from one to the other? Just, uh, just wondering. And you would be the person to answer that question. So yeah, that's my second question. And my third question and I'm going to get really technical now, um, is when we talk about um, game, video game programming, and imagine, uh, you know, a retro game, uh, an 8-bit system with a, well, uh, a game that goes with that era. Now, the main game loop I know that as systems have gotten faster, the main game loop has to take into account the speed of the system. Uh, maybe that wasn't so much the case, uh, you know, when the systems were running at a megahertz, you know, or 
or two. Now, in that era, in that kind of programming, what is your preferred technique for handling the timing of the main game loop? I bet you didn't see that one coming, so <laughs> good luck answering that one. Those are my three questions, uh, my three, yeah, my three questions, and uh, I can't wait to see your answers. Um, that's it. That's it. Uh, see you next time, Tony. Bye-bye.